In the last 10 years, I didn't always make the best shopping decisions and there were many things that I wish I didn't buy. However, as I grew older, I went through a lot of changes as a person. At the moment, I'm very intentional with my money. But looking back, there are certain things that are simply worth buying and I cannot deny that. In fact, I'll go as far as saying they make the best wardrobe investments for me and I want to share them with you today. The first one is to invest in a storage system that works for you. The idea is to create a space where you can store your things well and you can also access anything you need very easily. I think so many times we focus so much on buying new things and adding new pieces when really we should review our storage system first because it will really impact the way we use our things. The size of your wardrobe is something worth thinking about. Now everyone is different so the key is to go for a wardrobe size that makes sense for you. You don't want a wardrobe too massive that you feel like you cannot navigate. You also don't want a wardrobe that's too small to contain everything you need. I went through a period where I was obsessed with buying designer handbags. Eventually, my bag collection outgrew my closet. So then I tried to put them away in whatever space I could find. At one point, I actually forgot that I had a certain Chanel handbag. And that's when I knew I had to work on not just my bag collection, but also my wardrobe system. I now have an open wardrobe where I keep everything I need for all four seasons of the year. And because I know exactly where everything is, it takes away the frustration of looking for things. This makes dressing up so much more enjoyable and I truly believe this has helped to maximize the value of my pieces. The next one is a dressy and versatile handbag. Now I like to separate my bags into two categories. The first one is the dressy category and the other is casual and worry-free. I personally like to go for luxury handbags for my dressy bags because I really enjoy the craftsmanship and the timeless designs. I think many of us will agree that a bag is not really just a bag. Many times it's the accessory that will complete an outfit, especially if you enjoy very simple outfits like I do. I'll suggest to go for something practical, i.e. a bag that can fit all your essentials, but at the same time is also really versatile. These will be the bag that you can carry to a job interview, shopping, a day out, or a wedding. I know life changes, but ideally you want to invest in something that is timeless for you. And by that I mean something that really aligns with your personal style and you know you'll enjoy wearing for many years to come. I think many luxury handbags are really versatile. For example, the Lady Dior, Fendi Mini Peekaboo, and the Louis Vuitton Capucins. My personal favorite favorites are my Hermes Birkin 25 and my Lady Dior Medium. These bags really go with everything I wear, so it's no surprise they are two of my most used luxury handbags. To be honest, even if you're not planning to build a luxury handbag collection, having just one very versatile handbag can do so much to elevate your entire wardrobe. Shoes are another category very much worth investing in. I used to think shoes were the last things anyone would look at, but now I have a totally different perspective. I think when you start paying attention to shoes, it's quite easy to tell if they are well made or not. And whether a pair of shoes are comfortable or otherwise, it really shows on the person wearing them. Many of you know I have no problem investing in shoes that are well made, versatile and comfortable, and that I make very good use of my small collection. Well, today I want to introduce some new luxury shoes to you guys and they are these beautiful flats from Ali Shoes. I'm so happy they are sponsoring this video because I really believe in their ethos, which is beautiful shoes don't have to hurt. The first pair are these nude flats with black cap toes. I think we'll all agree that the design is really timeless and that these shoes will go well with any outfits easily. I personally love pointy cap toes, so these are perfect for me. The second pair are these nude flats. Now I love a good pair of neutral flat shoes, but these ones are interesting because they are made of two different leathers, namely the supple lambskin and the suede leather. I love the subtle contrast. I think it adds a bit of dimension to the shoes, but overall they're still really neutral and understated. I chose these two pairs because they are beautiful and so easy to pair and I believe these are the kind of shoes that will work in any wardrobe 
year after year. But most importantly, they are so incredibly comfortable. All Ali shoes are handmade with premium lambskin and they are lined with these luxurious suede leather on the inside. On me, these shoes did not need any breaking in. They were lovely to walk in from day one. If you have wider feet, you will love this brand because all the shoes come in four different widths. There's even a size increase on the website that you can take to find your perfect size. Another thing I love about this brand is that the insoles are made with premium Italian leather and they are designed to provide the proper arch support. So all in all, these shoes are beautifully crafted and they can be worth the investment if you're looking for premium quality shoes that you love wearing year after year. So make sure to check them out. I love a good luxury bag, but I also think there'll be times when we just want to carry something very casual and worry-free. For example, when I go for a walk, when I travel to certain places, or when I just want to look very low-key, that's when I don't feel like carrying a designer bag. And I believe most of us will have those moments. So I highly recommend investing in this very casual category as well. I personally love being mindful with whatever purchase I make. So even even though these casual bags are on a lower price point, I only add the pieces that I know I will love using for many years. For example, I love my Longchamp tote bags for work and travel. I also love my Kipling mini backpack for when I go for a walk or just pop out for a quick errand. The Uniqlo crossbody bag is my new favorite casual bag for the summer because it's so light and it can carry so much. So when we talk about investing in a wardrobe, it's really about creating a wardrobe that fulfills your needs. I mean, these things will not make you a profit, but if you enjoy using something for a long time, then that is a good purchase. The next one is to invest in good quality fabric. When it comes to clothes, less can sometimes be more. According to the Pareto principle, most of us only wear 20% of the clothes we own. So it makes sense to invest in good quality materials in those 20% and then minimize the other 80%. This is something that took me a while to realize. I used to focus so much more on the designs, but the truth is, no matter how amazing something looks, I tend to only reach for the pieces that feel comfortable to wear in my everyday life. So now I really believe in paying more for premium quality materials even if that means I can only have a smaller selection of clothes. I personally love cashmere for my jumpers and my winter coats and if I want to add a parka jacket I'll go for something with a down filling rather than polyester because down is so much more effective at keeping me warm. For summer, I like cotton for my t-shirts, but I also really enjoy silk with a light and airy texture. When it comes to pajamas, I absolutely love silk. Now these materials are pricier compared to their counterparts, but when you look forward to wearing something over and over again, you know, it's worth the investment. Next one is jewelry. I love my sparkles. They might be very small element, but they really can elevate a very simple outfit in a very subtle way. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend investing in precious metals and stones because they truly can last for decades. Now, these elements do cost more, but when it comes to jewelry, the quality is so much more important than quantity. In fact, for a long time, I only had three pairs of earrings. It was a small collection, but it worked fine for me. I also suggest to start your collection with simple everyday pieces. So these are the jewelry pieces that you can wear to any settings, whether if it's work, a date, or a wedding. Quite simply, when you wear them all the time, these pieces will have very low cost per wear. So if you ask me, it just makes so much more sense to invest in a pair of diamond stud earrings rather than something very elaborate that you only get to wear once or twice a year. The next category doesn't get enough attention, in my opinion, but trust me, they are very much worth investing in, and that is the maintenance for the pieces you own. This includes gadgets, accessories, and aftercare kits that will help you care for your pieces to make sure they stay in a very good condition for a long time. And just for some context, cashmere will need the right detergent and laundry care, seal will need steaming, Luxury handbags will need the right storage system and maybe some pricey bag inserts. 
and you'll find jewelry pieces will need polishing if you want them to stay shiny and sparkly. Funny enough, I actually love polishing my jewelry pieces. I find it really therapeutic. Anyway, I am aware that buying a steamer or a bottle of expensive detergent might not seem very exciting, but they really will make a difference. Now, obviously, when you care for your pieces, they will look lovely for longer, which means you will enjoy using them. But also, when you spend time maintaining your pieces, you will get a new perspective on shopping because you realize it takes time and energy to care for what you have. Now, that can be a very useful reality check. For me at least, that revelation helped me build a wardrobe with things that I enjoy using, not displaying. There you have it. Those are the investments worth making in a timeless and functional wardrobe. Now, I think most of us understand the definition of the term investment in a financial context. And so you might question, how can a pair of earrings or a handbag be an investment? And I'm totally with you there. But in the context of a wardrobe, I think you can actually invest in the right pieces, not because they earn you any dividend or they make you a profit, but because you get a lot of joy from putting them to use and you continue to do so for a long time. And that's it from me today. Thank you for being here. Take care and I'll see you soon.